Congressman Dina Titus making some political waves. Yeah, she is the latest Democrat in the House and the first member of our congressional delegation to call for an impeachment inquiry of President Trump. Titus spoke with our Jeff Gillen today, and he's here with more of that conversation. That's right. Good evening. Titus says the House needs to determine if Donald Trump should be removed from office. It's a busy Monday when you begin the day by calling for an impeachment inquiry. That's why Democrat Dina Titus got the call from cable TV. Democrats are already investigating the president on a number of issues. The Las Vegas Congresswoman says launching an impeachment inquiry, the first step in the process, put some muscle into the effort. But I think it gives our inquiries more strength if it's behind impeachment instead of just random. And we'll be able to subpoena documents more successfully, maybe force people to come and testify, get more information that they're stonewalling on us now. Depending on who's doing the counting, Titus becomes the 106th House Democrat by NBC's count or 108 by Politico's to call for an impeachment inquiry. At this stage, almost half of House Democrats have done so. I'm calling for an impeachment inquiry because of the mounting evidence that Donald Trump has repeatedly broken the law to protect his own interests, Titus said Monday morning. At Conservative Talk Radio. Now let's talk a little bit about impeachment. Them's fighting words. I ran into the head of the Clark County Republican Party over at the Kevin Wall Show. Ask Dave Sajak about impeachment. What do you think about that? I think it's absolutely ridiculous. President Trump is doing a fantastic job, and to keep driving these derisive narratives is not in the best interest of the country. When Congress impeaches, it charges a president with wrongdoing. The trial would be in the Republican-controlled Senate, which could make removal a long shot. But Titus says there's more at stake. I don't think we need to talk about the politics of this. We need to talk about the legality and the constitutionality of what the president's doing and the threat to our democracy. She tells me more of her constituents think that too, as the country heads into an election year, which will be a referendum on one man, Donald Trump. We should note impeachment is not a foregone conclusion. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is chilly to the idea she believes unless the country is behind the effort, it could damage Democrats in 2020. Jeff Gillen, News 3.